This lesson deals with doing examples using superposition. You can find these notes in the ECE 201 ebook in Chapter 3 starting on page 48. Consider the following example where I've got a voltage source and a current source. This was also the example we did in the mesh equation section where we had a current source where we couldn't do a source transformation. Let's solve for the mesh current I2, which is the current flowing in the 2K resistor. The superposition theorem says that if you have multiple sources, then you can think of any voltage or any current as being the summation of terms due to each of the sources acting alone. Let me define I2 as having an I2 prime and an I2 double prime. And we'll let I2 prime be the value of I2 when we have only the 12 volt source. And then the value of I2 double prime will be the value of I2 when we have only the three milliamp source. And we're gonna add those two together and see if we get the same answer. Let's set the three milliamp source equal to zero. That's just a open circuit. And now I've got a circuit where I'm going to solve for this current I2, again, due to the first source, the 12 volt source. Let's do a source transformation and we can do current divider. Convert the 12 volts in series now with 1K, because this is gone, into a current source of 12 volts divided by 1K in parallel with 1K, then in parallel with 2K, and then that's actually in parallel with 3K. And that's the current that's flowing in the 3K resistor now. Current divider, we could then find the current in here as one over this conductance, over the sum of the three conductances times the 12 milliamps. Let's multiply numerator and denominator by 6,000. That gives me two, six, three, and then two. That turns out to be 2.1818 milliamps. All right, now let's set the other source equal to zero. So we're setting all the sources equal to zero except one. So setting this equal to zero is a short circuit. And let me redraw this resistor. It's really now in parallel with this 2K resistor. So I'm just gonna stretch this wire here and bring this over here. So really have a series combination of the 1K resistor and then the 1K in parallel with the 2K. So a product over the sum would be 2K squared divided by 3K. And so one of those Ks cancels and I get 2 thirds K. So I can combine that in series as a 1K plus a 2 thirds K resistor. And then I've got this three milliamps just redrawn over here. And let's find the current in here. And let's use the resistive form of the current divider. If I want the current in this resistance, I'll take the other resistance, which is 1.666K, over that plus 2K, and then times the three milliamps. And that turns out to be 1.3636 milliamps. Now adding that together with the last result, we get 3.545 milliamps. And that was the same answer we had when we solved for the mesh currents on page 41. Let's look at another example. This is called a mixer. Suppose that I have three inputs, these could be three microphones, and they have maybe say the same resistance associated with each of those microphones. Connecting them together this way gets a very interesting result. So let's solve for V out here in terms of the three inputs, VS1, VS2, and VS3. Yeah, because I have multiple sources here, let's set all the sources equal to zero but one, and then find the voltage, in this case at the output, due to each source acting alone. Okay, so let's set two and three equal to zero. I have a voltage divider. These two are in parallel, so that's gonna be R over two, voltage divided with R times V sub S1. So that's V out due to the first source. Let's clean this up a little bit here. Put a common denominator here of, this would be two over two, so we get three over two. The twos cancel, and we get the R's also canceling. We wind up getting one third V sub S1. It's not the answer, it's just simply one part of the answer. There's two more pieces. So let's set the second source as our input and set the other two sources equal to zero. So we're gonna short the first source, short the source, and now analyze this circuit and find the voltage here due to the second source. We'll call that V out double prime. If you slide this resistor over to here, we have the same as the schematic above. So the voltage divider would be R in parallel with R, so that's half of R with R plus half R. Again, that's gonna be one third times the voltage here V sub S2. Lastly, let's do the third source as our input and set the other two sources equal to zero. And again, I would have got our two resistors in parallel, so I get R over two, and that's a voltage divider across here, which is V out. And again, this is due to the third source. That's gonna voltage divide with R, so R plus R over two. And again, that's one third of sub S3. So now we can add the results together. First result, second result, and third result. We have a common one third. What we get then is the sum of the three inputs divided by three. So if these are three microphones, we're basically giving the same weight to each microphone and then creating an output that's one third of their sum. 
So this is how you can use superposition to solve problems with multiple sources.